Starting last Friday, Donald Trump did his little tour around Europe. He met with NATO and offended them. And then he went over to the United Kingdom where he was uh, doing a joint press conference with uh, Prime Minister Theresa May. And during that press conference, CNN's Jim Acosta asked Donald Trump a question and Donald Trump refused to take the question from Acosta. He called CNN fake news. And then he immediately said he wanted to take a question from Fox news because they were real news. So Donald Trump snubs CNN. Then later on, he got on Twitter to not only brag about the snub, but to also reveal that he's actually watching CNN. Here's the tweet. So funny. I just checked out fake news CNN for the first time in a long time. They're dying in the ratings to see if they covered my takedown yesterday of Jim Acosta. Actually a nice guy. They didn't, but they did say I already lost in my meeting with Putin. Fake news. Um, so you snub CNN just so you could go back to your hotel room and watch CNN to see if they talked about the snub. And then when they didn't, you got mad. What the hell is wrong with you? You are supposed to be the president of the United States, not some little grade schooler who picks on a girl that he has a crush on, then asks his friends like, oh, did she say anything about me later after I did that? That's not how global politics work, you idiot. Yet that is what you were doing. You must really have a crush on CNN in order for you to behave this way. I mean, I, I can't think of anything else that makes sense here other than the fact that something happened to you when you were a child, some kind of traumatic head injury that left you permanently with the mindset of an adolescent because that is exactly what you're acting like right now. It's exactly what you've been acting like since the day you announced your presidency. And it's pretty much how you've acted your entire life. CNN is not fake news. Fox news is fake news. Yet you seem to constantly confuse those two, possibly because your, uh, your son is sleeping with one of the Fox news hosts. I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know that it's bad for this country. What's also bad for this country is when you later on get on Twitter and admit that you only snubbed them so that you could go back home and tune into CNN to see how they talked about the snub, which to their credit, they didn't bother doing, which only pissed you off more. You are a sad, sick, pathetic little human being. And the longer you stay president of the United States, the more damage you do, not just to our country, but to our country's global reputation because that's something that's going to take a hell of a lot of time to fix. And yet you, mostly through your ignorant little Twitter feed, seem to be doing a phenomenal job of destroying that.